Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our, our September mixer with Open Door. Thank you all for being here. It's so exciting. It's our second mixer. Very excited. Um, just a couple, couple of things before we officially get started. Um, one is just the gentle reminder that if you're on your cell phone and you have the video on and you need to leave to go take care of personal things, turn your video off, please, so we don't follow you into the bathroom or somewhere else. <laughs> Um, also, oh, this mixer is being recorded and will be shared on YouTube. So if you do not want to show up on our YouTube channel, you can keep your camera off. Don't worry about that. Um, for those who don't know me, I am Renee Lindsay, the president and CEO of the Fortuna Chamber of Commerce. Um, again, thanks everybody for being here. Thanks to the staff at Open Door for being our um, co-hosts. Um, it's exciting that people are embracing the virtual format um, for mixers and uh, we had a really good turnout with the hops mixer. So hopefully everybody will enjoy it just as much. Um, we've got some fun stuff planned, um, including another shelter in place scavenger hunt and a trivia game. So grab a pen and paper so that you can write down the items that you will need to search your house for. We've got door prizes from Open Door, Coast Central Credit Union, Aflac, North Coast Journal, HSU, and Stitch Witch. And we will have a 50-50 raffle worth $75 um, at the end of the mixer. So stay tuned for that. You have to be here to win something. So stick around. Um, and let's see what else. Oh, before we get started, I had a, just a couple of announcements. Um, next Monday on October 5th is our City Council Candidate Forum. Uh, that will be starting at noon. We're going to air that on a Zoom webinar as well as live on Facebook. So if you want to join the Zoom webinar, you can sign up in advance with the registration link that's on social media, on our website, and in our weekly email newsletters. Uh, you can also send us a question in advance. Uh, we will take questions at the end, towards the end of the forum. It is going to go longer. It'll be an hour and a half. We have six prearranged questions that were chosen by the board and submitted to the candidates. And they'll take turns rotating who goes first to answer those questions. So any other questions at the end that we get from the audience or that were submitted in advance, we'll pull a couple of those depending on the time um, and then uh, spring them on the candidates. <laughs> Tammy's so excited for that. Um, and also, I'm very excited. Um, our first ever virtual scavenger hunt is starting um, this Friday. It'll go live at noon. Um, it is called the Fall into Fortuna Scavenger Hunt. The grand prize is $500 in redeemable gift certificates in, uh, in Fortuna with our local merchants. Um, it's super easy to do. Just go to your app program on your phone, whether you've got Android or iPhone, so go to your app store or go to Google Play and download uh, an app called Goose Chase. It's all one word. It's a little orange square with cute little duck feet. Um, and then once you download that app, open it up, search for the game either by location, which is obviously Fortuna, or fall into Fortuna. You'll create an account, create your team. You can be a team of one or a team of many. We do recommend that you stay within your household to keep COVID safety protocols in place. Um, and then uh, the, as soon as the hunt goes live at noon on Friday, you can start completing missions. Currently, we have 37 missions uh, for you to complete. Each mission is worth a different point value and whoever has the most points will win the top prize. Um, we also have some sponsored missions um, from Accurate Termite and Pest, Aflac, Coast Central, Cornerstone, Crystal Loaf State Farm, Edward Jones, if he gives me his, <laughs> FBID, the North Coast Journal, and Umqua Bank. So these um, sponsored missions will have you uh, connecting directly with the business in some way, either doing a virtual task or going to their place of business and performing an action. Um, and then there's a bunch that are just uh, random missions that'll take you around Fortuna, trivia questions, GPS location check-ins, all done with the app so you can do it at your leisure. You have a week um, and invite your friends, compete against them, and you know work within your family. So it'll be super fun and I'm excited that that's going to get launched. So any questions on either of those things before I open it up to the floor? 
No, you're also quiet. Um, I believe we have a new member present. We have two new members present. Um, so I'm gonna put you two on the spot. So Jennifer Church from Southern Trinity Health Services. Hi. Hi there. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for joining and joining us on the mixer. Do you um, do you wanna say anything? Let us know about Southern Health Trinity or Southern Trinity Health. We were uh, rural FQHC, our, um, our, local, our local office is in Scotia. Uh, we have services in medical, dental, behavioral health. Um, dental just opened up in August, so we're really excited about that. Um, we also have two other clinics, one in Weaverville, one in Mad River. Um, what else? We, we're going to start doing some COVID testing around the local communities, so we're also excited to do that. Um, yeah, I'm excited to join. I, I, um, I haven't been a member of Chamber before, but um, I'm excited to, to visit these mixers and get to know others in the community. Awesome. Well, it's great having you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Emma Coleman. <laughs> yeah. Emma Coleman has uh, Gold Leaf Media. Go ahead. Yeah. So, um, I specialize in social media marketing and management for businesses. So if you ever need help creating a Facebook page, a website, or an Instagram and need it created and managed, that's what I do. I work a lot with the Fortuna businesses, but I generally work around Humboldt and virtually. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you. And thanks again for becoming a member. Same to you, Jennifer. We appreciate that support, especially now more than ever. Um, and uh, any announcements, anybody, before we uh, turn it over to our co-hosts? Nope. Going once, going twice. Okay. All right. Well, then, without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to our uh, two co-hosts, our two lovely ladies sitting in the back there, uh, Andrea and Sarah. I'm going to turn the mic over to you and take it away. Hello. Uh, my name is Andrea Isaacson. I'm the site administrator here at the Fortuna Community Health Center. I've been with Open Door for about 13 years. Um, I've worked with Sarah here for many of those. <laughs> you want to introduce yourself? I'll introduce myself. I am Sarah Condro. I am the office manager here at Fortuna Open Door. And I have been with Open Door for a little over nine years now. Um, many different roles, but I'm happy to be in the office manager position and get to work with Andrea, our site admin, and Dr. Johnston, who can introduce himself next. Hi, Andrew Johnston. I thought there was going to be food here, so I just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for, he didn't get the memo. <laughs> one, of the, one of the doctors here, internal medicine, uh, take care of people with all kinds of problems, high blood pressure, diabetes, emphysema problems, heart problems, depression, chronic pain, basically anything over the age of 18. Uh, a lot of the other docs here are family practice, which includes uh, newborns, children also. Uh, so it's, I've only been with Open Door for six months. I moved up here from Salinas, originally from Chicago, and I'm really excited to be up here. I love the area. I love the open door organization. It, it just, uh, I feel like their management is really in the right place for what they need to do to uh, see patients here. There's a good connection between the management and the people seeing the patients, which you don't see in a lot of organizations. So that's, that's what I do here. Besides Great. Look for food. <laughs> <laughs> look for food. Um, he is going to uh, MC a, a little a short Q and A. So think of some health questions we can uh, plug at him uh, before we, we get there. So you have a few minutes to think of some good medical questions. Okay. So with that, I'm going to turn us over to a short presentation. This will get you acquainted with some of the different programs that Open Door has. Um, the audio is a little quiet, so you might want to turn your, your sound up so you can hear it better. And then, um, and then we'll hear more from Dr. Johnston. Okay, stand by.
Hi, my name is Jennifer Judge. I am the Programs Manager for Open Doors Member Services Department, and I'll be talking to you about our Latino Health Coordination Program that is in Humboldt and Del Norte counties. Um, Open Doors Latino Health Coordination Program is available to assist established patients and uh, the general public. Latino health coordinators are dedicated to providing health education and intensive care coordination for our Spanish-speaking community. Um, they are integrated at Open Doors Community Health Centers and can be accessed uh, directly by uh, providers and care team members um, through a referral, warm handoffs, or by calling member services and requesting uh, Latino health coordination support. Um, other services that they provide, um, interpretation directly um, over the phone, translation forms for the organization. Um, they provide culturally appropriate services and help break down barriers in um, navigating care or accessing resources. Uh, diabetic health education and chronic disease self-management support, healthy eating, um, meal planning, and physical health and wellness for diabetes health management. Um, different type of educational sessions, either one-on-one -on -one or by group. Um, due to the uh, COVID, we are not doing group visits right now, but exploring virtual ways to expand that or have recorded health education sessions, little tips over Facebook and more to come. Um, they also have some uh, skills around motivational interviewing and um, setting good goals to help uh, meet their health and wellness um, action plans that uh, their care team has set. And lastly, navigating referrals external for mental health providers or other specialty care. Hi, my name is Sean Todd and I'm the gardens assistant for our Fortuna Community Health Center Health and Wellness Garden uh, that you can see right behind us where we uh, provide educational resource for uh, sustainable agriculture while growing food to be distributed through uh, various programs such as uh, our clinic, uh, front counter, uh, we pre-make bags that include recipe cards and CalFresh information along with member services information for people who need to obtain resources. Uh, and then we also provide produce for the uh, St. Joseph's Healthcare through their Paso a Paso program, which serves uh, low-income Hispanic families in our community. Hello, my name is Dr. Stephanie Dittmer. I am a family medicine physician practicing full spectrum family medicine in the Fortuna Community Health Center. Here we have an obstetric program with three physicians, myself, Dr. Kate Eslin, and Dr. Joni McAtee. We practice a family-centered continuity-based model where we each see our own patients throughout the pregnancy, getting to know them, and then being available for their delivery. We have antipartum testing capacity here in the clinic, which means that when women have high-risk pregnancies, we can listen to their baby and we can also see if they're contracting we also have ultrasound capacity here in our clinic as well. We started a postpartum support group for new mothers to help them transition into being moms. This family-centered care is really appreciated by us as physicians as well as the patients. Because we are also family medicine physicians taking care of chronic medical conditions such as diabetes, asthma, depression, anxiety, we continue that care here when people are pregnant. We also have a medication assisted treatment program here in the Fortuna Community Health Center where patients can have their opioid use disorder treated with Suboxone. And likewise, if they become pregnant, we can help treat that as well. We also have Dr. Marguerite Chagog who helps with our psychiatry and our behavioral health of our pregnant patients here. Okay, it's time for Dr. Johnston. <laughs> oh, goodness. I love that photo. <laughs> yeah, <bless. laughs> So, uh, one of the things that um, you and I had 
talk briefly about as the sun is coming into my office uh, is um, the proper way to doff and don um, your mask to avoid uh, cross contamination. Um, do you have any tips on how to do that so people can make sure that they're doing it correctly? Well, I think there's a difference between the masks that most of us wear out in the community and the N95 masks that healthcare providers are using, which has a specific way of doing it. I, I think for most of the masks that we wear, just out and about, there isn't really a, I'd say a, a right or wrong way to do it. The more important thing is just to do it. The masking is, is really important. It's been shown to help. It's probably the best way to slow down the pandemic. And I think a lot of, a lot of people really believe that if the whole country were to do it for about four weeks, you could really basically stop this whole thing. But it's uh, kind of disconcerting to see so many people out and about without masks on or in close proximity to other people without masks on. And I think we all understand, you know, this has been going on for months. We're sick of it. Everyone's sick of it. We'd love to go without the masks, but being sick of it doesn't make the virus go away. It's there, it's still killing people. Another person died here in Humboldt County, I think two or three days ago, that's eight deaths. That's I think four deaths in the last couple months of uh, in the last couple months, whereas there were four in the first few months from uh, Alder, Alder Bay Nursing Home, I think. So it's still here, it's still causing problems. And I, I think instead of worrying about, am I putting this mask on right or wrong, just wear it. The gaiters that you see people have on, the ones that go sort of down here and then people pull it up, just for your information, those have been shown to not be helpful at all. And for people that use those, they actually have a higher risk of perhaps contracting uh, coronavirus. So if you're relying on those gaiters, you should change that and get a mask that covers your nose and your mouth. And covering the nose is important too, because the virus can be spread that way. It's not just the mouth. Well, as it seems like in the last couple of weeks, a lot of people are, are walking around with their mask down like this. Uh, their nose is out, but their mouth is covered. It's just not as good. It, it really should be covering the nose and the mouth. So I think that's a more important thing to focus on than, well, am I, am I taking it off the right way, putting it on the right way? It's just get it on, keep it on if you're around other people. Really important. Right. As we're heading into flu season, um, do you have any tips? I mean, obviously the masks are going to help um, probably more than they've ever done at, at preventing the humble crud from going around, certainly. Um, are there any other tips and tricks um, for staying healthy, just in general or, or now during flu season, uh, the upcoming flu season? Yeah, so for flu season, the flu vaccine is important. It's not something that means you won't get the flu, but it means you're less likely to end up in the hospital with a severe case of influenza. That's been shown without doubt to help. It cuts down your risk of that by about 40 or 50%. It's not a guarantee. Some people say, oh, 40, 50%, forget it. That's like a coin toss. I'm not going to do it. Well, think about who you're around. Think about who you live with. If you're going to visit your parents and they're elderly, maybe you're not going to get that sick from influenza, but you could have it. And before you get really sick, you could spread it to them. They could end up dying from it. Stuff like this happens. The flu kills about 35,000 people a year, every year, every year. So the vaccine is probably the best thing for that. Washing your hands frequently helps and staying away from people that you see are sick with a cough or a cold. I think those are the best things. Eat your vegetables, I'll say that too. So there's no, no proof of that, but it sounds good. Um, so in your practice, um, what do you see are some of the more prevalent chronic conditions and, and are there lifestyle modifications for a lot of these that can help people? 
Uh, yeah, there are. I think the most common things that I see as an internist are probably high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, depression, chronic pain. And when you think about lifestyle things that could help that, it, it really basically comes down to eating a healthier diet, exercising at least three hours a week of aerobic exercise, trying to get a good night's sleep, and not drinking and not smoking. I, I don't mean to sound like a pilgrim, but that stuff <laughs> helps. It really does. So uh, those are basic sort of common sense things that we all know, but we all kind of stray from from, from time to time. It's hard sometimes just to, to keep that focus with the, the grind of the day and all the stresses outside of people's workplace or people's business uh, outside of that. You know, we all have stress going on and we find different ways to, to try and manage that. But sometimes those ways just aren't, aren't very healthy in the long run. They help that day, like a quick thing, like, oh, I'm gonna go to In-N-Out and get my, my animal style burger and I'll feel okay. But then, you know, you pay for it having that exercise for three hours the next day to take it all off, so. <laughs> Those are the basics, I'd say. Does anybody have any questions? If you want, just uh, unmute yourself and fire away. Anyone have a mole that looks like Abraham Lincoln that they want to show? <laughs> no? I have a question, if I could. Hey, thank you, Dr. Jackson. Yeah. It, would you mind, and good to see everyone, and thanks for letting me uh, interrupt your, your uh, chamber meeting again. Vitamin D and zinc, are those factors in, in health today, particularly in COVID, or is that just fluff? Uh, it's, it's not necessarily fluff. There can be associations of things, but it's hard to say that an association is a cause and effect. So you might see an association of low vitamin D levels and more severe cases of different diseases, but that doesn't necessarily mean if you raise the vitamin D level that you take away that risk. So it's in the same with zinc. I wouldn't say that it's necessarily fluff, but I, I just don't think we know enough about it to say everyone should be going out and taking vitamin D and zinc. Because we, we don't know if you fix it do you lower the risk? Thanks, Doc. Anyone else? It's free medical advice. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's... No? Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Johnson. We appreciate it. Appreciate all, right. all the advice. Um, and now it's time for the shelter in place scavenger hunt. So does everybody have a pen and paper? Get ready. Okay, I see some nodding heads. Now, if you have your camera off currently, that's fine, but you will have to turn your camera on uh, so we can make sure that you got all the stuff that you needed. Um, so I'm going to share my screen real fast so you can see what the list is and I will read it out at the same time and then I will turn off the screen share so we can see Who you guys are playing? The house play. How many people are playing? Is Tammy playing? No, nope. Tammy's not playing. Well, there's, tw there's 12 people. Well, there's 12 people. I don't think our hosts are going to play, so I'm not playing. So there's like uh, nine, ten, ten people. Yeah, I'm okay. playing. Let's go. Okay, it's one out of ten. On. So, all right. Bring it on, Tammy. Okay, you ready? Okay, I'm playing. All right, here it comes. Okay, thermometer, bandage, hydrogen peroxide. Are you sensing a theme? An apple, a daily multivitamin, antiseptic spray, antibiotic cream, orange juice, a flashlight, a battery, a toothbrush, dental floss, kale, because we gotta eat our veggies, Allergy medication and eye wash. Uh, we will we will um, include contact lens solution if that's what you have. All right, I'm gonna get my timer going. Y'all got three minutes. And whoops, where's my t where's my clock? Hold oh. please. All right, go. 
toothbrush, band-aid, antiseptic spray. Oh shit, let's go here. What else did you say? Um, vitamins? Is that what you said? Oh God. Yes. Here. Here's the list. This is ointment. Is this antibiotic? And a few people. I can't, I can't read it. Gold bond? This is not an airport. You don't have to announce your arrival. Just go get your stuff. Oh, really? Oh, there's nobody here. I got it all. One, two, three, four, flashlight. Okay. There's my flashlight. There's my battery. Hey, allergy. Okay, I'm turning off the screen share. Okay. <laughs> if you need me to read them out again, just let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to watch y'all flounder around. It's great. Love it. Okay, we're a minute and 20 seconds in. You have any stuff in your office, Fred? I have an emergency packet which okay. based on what we were just told, I'm going to add to my beverage to counteract the effects that I was just warned against. And that's about as good as it's going to get in my office. Did you, uh, did you have in and out? <laughs> I definitely had in and out for lunch. Yes. Yes, I did. Uh, that's awesome. I promise to walk on the treadmill when I get home from the office later. And you'll go by the farmer's market on Tuesday and get some kale. Oh, we already got that. <laughs> Eating the kale, I'll make a smoothie in the morning. Yeah. If you cook it and bake it fat, it's delicious. <laughs> That's true. Okay, 30 seconds. Get your stuff Here. together. Where's the thing? I took it down. What do you need? Apple. I'm supposed to write this down. I can't do everything. Okay. We're down to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it. Back to your chairs. <laughs> okay. Count it out. Tell me who's got what. Well, I got to see it again. Okay. I'm, I'm going to share the screen again so you can make sure you've got the right stuff. So we'll make this easy. If, if anybody has at least nine items, raise your hand. I got nine. Yeah, let's try this. Okay. All right. Oh, look at you, Dr. Jackson. Ooh, it's going to be a hunt. Anybody else have at least nine items? I have Dr. nine. Is that Mary, Mary Johnson. Hi, it Mary is. Johnson. Ooh, I know Hello. you're. You guys I are know. competitors. Uh. <laughs> okay, so we've got Mary and Robert Johnson, Melissa Sanderson, Dr. Jackson. Anybody else have nine? Was that Tammy? Actually, actually, I did. I've got ten. ten. I got ten. And Emma. Okay, who has more than nine? I have ten. I just found a band aid. Okay. You can't just find a band aid. Yes, I can. I went down and got it out of the cupboard. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, two, Mary's got ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I got twelve. Whoa. Woo! I went and picked an apple off Throwing the tree. Down the <laughs> okay. Who else? Anybody? Can anybody beat twelve? Does broccoli count as quail, quail, or kale? 
kale. No, it's a completely different species. It's both green, though. I have baby kale. Oh, salad mix. Uh, that would be romaine. <laughs> I have the same. You have the wrong, as the, Melissa has the right salad mix. She's got the I mix. literally have kale. Oh. Yeah, power greens, that has kale. Power oh, look green. at Emma. Oh, she's got the dino oh. kale. Nice. Okay, anybody got more than 12 to beat Melissa? Just 11. Oh, that's okay. Congratulations, girl. Yeah, hey, you literally you went yes. the basket. Yes. Yes. You, uh, you want a gift basket from Open Door? So next time you're driving around hey, town, swing by. My doctor's Joni McEntee. I awesome. freaking love her. <laughs> Tell Joni hello. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Okay, so now um, we're going to get back into, uh, I think we're going to do some door prizes. So let me share my screen. Our first door prize, courtesy of Humboldt State University. Woohoo! Thank you, Michelle Collins and Dr. Tom Jackson. We appreciate it. And I'm going to get my, my bag. This is for a medium sweatshirt, and the winner is... Melissa Sanderson. Whoa, hey. Hey. Yay. You're just winning, you're just winning everything. Um, and so um, send me your, I know I have it somewhere, but send me your address and Melissa will mail it directly, or Michelle will mail it to you directly so you don't have to go to Arcata. Isn't that nice? Sweet. That's, that's some quality service there, let me tell you. Thank you for that prize, we appreciate it. Okay, the next one is a $50 gift certificate off your next embroidery service, courtesy of Stitch Witch. And that one is, let me turn up the frame. And that one is Jennifer Church. Congratulations. Maybe you've got some team jerseys you need done. Yay, thank you. Yes, you're very welcome. I will uh, mail you uh, or email you a copy of the gift certificate or mail it to you, whatever you want. Okay, next. Do, do, do. Okay, and our next one is courtesy of Coast Central Credit Union. You've got uh, Dick Taylor chocolates, a CC mug, and a, I think that's a water bottle, popcorn, cheese and nuts, all kinds of stuff in there. And this one, is going to, oh, somebody who's not here. It would have gone to Crystal Lewis, but she didn't show. But she registered, so hold on, let me pick again. <laughs> Jesse Rodriguez, also not here. He was our big winner with the scavenger hunt. Him and Robert and Mary tied for the scavenger hunt during the hot fixer. Uh, Kristen Chambers, also not here. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. Just, how, just, how is it hard not to be here? It's virtual. I, people get busy. No, oh, Robert no. Mary Johnson. Yeah. All right. Congratulations. Did you guys get the coast? No, you got the Umqua basket last time. I was thinking you're just you get all the bank baskets. This looks like a good one. All right. C C C U. Awesome. Okay. So I think now. Ooh, it's time for trivia. Oh yeah. See, the dog's excited. Okay, so here we go. Trivia. Bum, 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 bum. All right, so what's going to happen now is I'm going to launch a poll, and this is interactive, and there are 10 questions, all health related, and you can just answer them um, at, at your leisure. For, it will give you about a minute or so, and then we'll see. Hopefully, it'll tell me who won. Um, you just get bragging rights. We don't have any more poll, uh, prizes for you. Okay, so here comes the poll. Everybody see that okay? So cool. How did you do that? Why is Eliza? I've already done school today. Which did you uh. do? <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. I got this.
Can you guys see all 10 questions? Yeah. Can you scroll down? Okay. You can click an answer, I think, can't you? Mm -hmm. We got okay. it. Okay. All right. I'll give you. I'll give you another. Are you going to tell us what we got right and what we got wrong? Because I can't. Well, I could, I or I could just know leave you in if you want to know. I want to know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Quite the competitive, inquisitive bunch. <laughs> no, I just, I just don't want to feel so stupid if I got some of them wrong. Like, what is this? Like, the biggest bone in the body. I think you learned that in like what? fourth grade, fifth grade? Who's teaching right now? <laughs> okay, let's wrap it up. We got about 10 seconds. Everybody mostly done? Do you get to see our answers? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, see, that's not the cool. First time. She's going to sit there and laugh at us. I know. Hold on. I'm printing my answers. I'm going to laugh at you, Melissa. I know. I mean, everybody does, so that's cool. I don't mind. Well, if it hurts your feelings, you have Band-Aids and all the medical supplies right behind you. I got it. I got it. I'm ready to okay. go. Okay. All right. I'm ending, the, I'm ending the poll. Final answers. Okay. Let's share the results. Let's see who got it right. Uh, oh, it doesn't tell me. Oh, I don't think I see who. Who's my winner? Let me oh, see. No, it's not. Well, I don't know. Not gonna it doesn't show me who won so you'll you'll just have to feel good about yourself <laughs> so of course the uh largest and strongest bone in the body is the femur uh the disease caused by improper production of insulin is we all got that diabetes. one right way to go everybody which blood type is uh, this uh, which blood type is considered a universal donor? Ooh, I made this one tricky because okay. I put two that could go either way. O negative. Who said O negative? Yay. Okay, good job. <laughs> okay. Uh, what part of your body ages most rapidly? Anybody, any guesses? Me? Well, you already. Sh oh, are you asking? No. To see it it yeah. could be any of them. I know. It's your hands. See, I would have said neck. I would have thought it was the neck, but no, it's your hands. What part of a human can expand to 20 times its normal size? Ooh, it was the, I put a trick answer in there. It's your stomach. You would yeah. think it's your cervix because you yeah. have children. Uh, <laughs> high blood pressure is also known as what? Hypertension. The average heart beats how many times per minute? 72. Ooh, I know. Um, in emergency medicine, what does stat mean? Immediately. I thought tomorrow was funny. Nobody guessed tomorrow? No. <laughs> what is the rare disorder called when your blood does not clot properly? Hemophilia. Everybody did good on that one. And then finally, what is the most frequently diagnosed cancer in men? Congratulations, it's prostate. So good job. So bonus answer. What is CPR or bonus question? What does CPR stand for? Yes, Fred. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Woohoo! Hey, good job. <laughs> that was fun. Maybe it'll give me, it'll tell me who um one on my uh on my desktop version so it doesn't matter remember there was no prize uh, oh i know well bragging right that's <laughs> that's a prize okay back to door prizes this basket is courtesy of aflac oops let me get this out of the way uh, a golf themed basket it's got all kinds of goodies in it uh, golf club or golf balls and food and uh an Aflac, I don't know what it's called. I called it a squishy. It's probably like a stress ball, but it's a duck. And that one is going to hopefully somebody who is here. Nope. 
<laughs> Hold, please. Mary Bullwinkle, congratulations. Oh. Oh, yeah, Tom, she's pulling names. <laughs> 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 oh goodness. Okay, Aflac, congratulations. Um, I think there's only a can of Coke in there. I don't think you put any booze in there. I'm so sorry. But that's okay. Because I mean, you know, I'm not a big fan of golfing, so I would probably need some inebriation. All right, next one is courtesy of Open Door. And it is a wine and chocolate uh, with a meal kit and a wine tumbler and a little home decor pumpkin. And that one. Uh, Jesse Miles. Oh, from McKinley. Well, she didn't make it. Sorry. Sorry, Jesse. Uh, Tammy Trent. Yay. Okay, and our final prize is from the North Coast Journal, and it is a bottle of Jewel Gin, special batch number one, and a $200 gift certificate that I'll let Melissa explain. I don't know why you need me to explain it, but... Uh, the journal absorbed the North or the trader. So this week, this next week, we're going to print our first issue. So there's a $200 gift certificate for an ad in the trader, which will be going to six different counties now instead of just three. So it's going to go all the way up to Brookings and cover Delmar and Curry and Lake Humboldt, Trinity and Mendocino. And what kind of a, what is the trader? Is that like a if you auto? Know, it's like a, it's, it's an auto classified puzzle jumbled fun little thing that's been around for about 30 years. And if you don't know what the trader is, you should. And here's your chance to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am going to pull out the people who left. We lost, um, Dr. But the Jackson. bottle of gin is really, uh, I mean, that's number one. Okay, so it looks like we've got oops, three names. It's going to be one of three people. I mean, Emma's got to be 21. Oh, right? yeah, Emma. Well, she can collect it on behalf of, I'll oh, and Emma, Emma won. <laughs> Have your mom. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it to my grandma. Yeah, oh, nice. Grandma's going to get after it. Okay, perfect. Hey, Mom, I want a bottle of gin. You want it? <laughs> I want a bottle of gin. I don't know. I'm going to have to rethink that next time. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so I guess we are down to our final thing, which is our 50-50 raffle, which is exciting. We have uh, $75 to split two ways. So, we had a bunch of tickets in here. I'm going to make sure they're all mixed up so they're not uh, stuck together. And, ah, Sarah Condro, congratulations. Yeah. Thank, Thank you for buying tickets, everybody. We appreciate it. Um, I will uh, send you a check, sir, because <laughs> I don't have cash. <laughs> Just the joy of online paying. Oh, Fred, Fred Robinson, would you like to say a few words? I would. Take it away. What am I talking about? He was clapping. I don't know. That wasn't a clap. That was a raised hand. It was no, a raised hand. Clap. No, it wasn't. It was a clap. Oh, was it? Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. I thought it was a raised hand that you had something to say. Okay. So without further ado, if there's anything else anybody would like to contribute before we sign off, I will say thank you. To our wonderful hosts, Sarah and Andrea. Thank you, Dr. Johnston. And uh, be sure to tune in on October 21st. Um, U.S. Bank will be our virtual hosts. Um, and that'll be a Halloween-themed mixer, so that should be a lot of fun. 
Um, and then again, don't forget our candidate forum on Monday at noon, live on Facebook and or Zoom. And uh, check out the scavenger hunt. You can uh, win 500 bucks. All right. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you being here. Have a good night. Yeah. Open door.